Hey everyone, welcome back to Yum Paleo. Today what we're going to do is a really easy steak bite dish and it's going to have a mushroom sauce as well. And I'm also going to add a sweet potato mash and also some silver beet or chard. So to get started what I've got is a pot boiling behind me with some water, boiling water and it's come to the boil. So we're going to pop in our sweet potato. Just be careful when you're adding it in that you don't get splashed. Right, so I've chopped up three decent sized sweet potatoes there. Now I'm just going to put the lid on that and let them boil away. Right, so the rest of our ingredients we've got. I've got some beef stock here which is going to make our mushroom sauce and also our mushrooms. Now I've got 10 portobello mushrooms and I've just diced them up into quite large chunks. I've got one bunch of silver beet or chard and then I've also got four beef sirloin steaks which I'm going to chop up. So what we're going to start with is I'm going to actually turn my pan on here and we're going to add a little bit of olive oil into that. So let the pan heat up a little bit. I'm going to drizzle in some olive oil. Just a little bit. So it's roughly about a tablespoon there. And we're going to add in our mushrooms to start to cook and to brown up there. So I'm going to add them into the pan. So I'm just going to let them cook. While they're getting going, I'm going to chop up our steak. Right, so I've got four and there's five of us eating today. So I'm going to leave them in quite decent chunks. You don't want them too small. Now if there is any excess fat on them like that, just remove that because we don't want that. Perfect. So we want them about that big. There we go. Good. Get rid of that. I'm going to keep doing the rest of them but while these mushrooms are cooking, just give them a wee toss. So you want this pan on low. Good. Let them do their thing and we'll come back and we'll chop up another steak. Perfect. So the easiest way to get rid of that fat is probably just cut down like that. And that removes most of it. Now try not to set too much of the steak with it when you do that. Perfect. So there's two. Two more. Good. So this dish is actually really quite simple. So what we're going to do is once those mushrooms are cooked, we're going to pull them out of the pan and we're going to pop in our beef to start cooking. And then as the beef's almost ready, we're going to add those mushrooms back in with some coconut milk, which I've got here, some beef stock, and that's going to make us our mushroom sauce, as well as boiling some silver beet, which doesn't take long at all, just maybe three or four minutes and that's done. So that's the last thing sort of to get going. Right, so there's all our beef. I'm going to pop it back into this bowl. Make sure they're not too stuck together. So these four steaks 
were pretty much just well, just over a pound. Um, yeah, or I was using 600 grams, so just over a pound for you guys. Right, so I'm going to take these mushrooms out now. Good, so what we're going to do is we're going to add in that beef into the pan. You might need a little bit more olive oil in there as the mushrooms tend to soak that all up. Good. We're going to let them sit. Right, turn the pan up slightly. Add in another, probably another, mm, not much, maybe just a teaspoon there. We're going to add in the beef. Do watch out for the spitting. Here's all the beef. Just going to give that a bit of a toss around. This is not going to take long either, so I'm going to put on a pot of boiling water behind me so that we can get the silver beet underway. So I'll move these. I'm going to need some hot water. I'm just going to turn up the sweet potatoes as well so they're boiling a bit quicker. And we're going to use some hot water just to make the water come to boil a bit quicker. Now I have turned that steak right down to low. Right, so in that goes. Going to pop this on to boil. Good. Right, now we're going to do the silver beet. Now I have already washed this, so make sure you do give it a good wash. Um, just get rid of any dirt or excess things in there. So give that a, a good wash, which I have done. Right, and we're just going to cut these up. Now I'm just going to slice them. And remember, it does tend to shrink once it's being cooked. So I've got quite a lot here. You think you're cooking a lot, but it actually reduces in size, so... I've got a bunch, which is roughly about six big leaves, which I've just broken up so I can fit in the bowl. Okay, so that's all ready to add into our pot once that's boiling. Right, back over to your steak. You can hear that sizzling away a little bit. Perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some cracked pepper into this. So a decent walloping of that. I'm also going to add in some thyme, which is dried. Just a little bit. Some thyme flakes. Good, and I'm even going to grate in, what I've got here is a garlic clove, I'm even going to grate in some garlic, in quite big chunks, careful not to get your fingers doing that either, I'm just going to pull the rest of that out that was in there. Right, wash my hand. I'm going to give that another wee toss. So the big thing with this is you don't want to overcook this meat. You don't want it to be tough and horrid. So I'm just turning it up a slight little bit. Now I can hear that that water behind me is boiling away and I think that's the sweet potatoes, so that's great. So as soon as that other pot starts to boil, we're going to add in the silver beet or the chard. Right, so once this meat's a little bit, maybe another few minutes, to get it cooked pretty much, so it's just slight pink. I'm going to add in the mushrooms back in. 
we're going to start to make the mushroom sauce. Right, so add those mushrooms back in. Right, so let that go for about a minute while we put the silver beet in the pot and check our sweet potatoes. Then we're going to come back and we're going to get it underway with the mushroom sauce. Perfect. Right. Brilliant. So that's boiling away. We'll bring that over. Alright, and pop that in there. There we go, and pop the lid on that. While I'm here, I'm just going to check on our sweet potato. Which are almost done, they seem pretty. Another maybe two or three minutes, and now I'll be ready to turn off and start making the mash for them. Right. So, to make our mushroom sauce, what we're going to do We're going to add in, tidy up the vent as I go, we're going to add in some coconut milk. We're going to also add in a very little bit of beef stock. So, <clears throat> right, so these, the steak sort of makes its own juice in there. That's great, we're going to use that as well. We're going to start by adding in some coconut milk. Now with a mushroom sauce, it doesn't really thicken, coconut milk or cream if you're using, doesn't thicken too much. So play it by ear as you're doing it. You can always add more, but if you do add too much, it will be slightly runny. So, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use a tablespoon and I'm going to add three. Good, give that a bit of a stir round. So there should be like a slight liquid at the bottom of the pan. Good. We're going to do the same with the beef stock. Turn that up slightly, let that cook. Good. So let that cook for a few seconds. We're going to grab the sweet potato off behind me and bring that over because that's done. Good, and just drain that. Do be careful of the steam. Right, now that this is boiling away, bubbling away, you want that to bubble probably another three or four minutes and it's pretty much almost done. Right, so I'll let that simmer away. Right, over here what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some pepper to the sweet potato. I'm also going to add some more coconut milk to this just so we can mash that up. Not much at all. Probably about a quarter of a cup of that. And we're just going to mash this up. I am going to add a tiny bit more. Good. So that's done. Right. The last few seconds, I'm going to whiz it up to high. 
and add in a couple more teaspoons of the coconut milk and then we're going to serve. One, two, three. Here we go, right. Right, so check on that silver beet. That's looking great. We can turn that off. Again, drain this. Right. And we are ready. Right, so I will dish up. So you can turn this off now because that's all cooked. And serve that up. Right, make sure you get some of that sauce at the bottom because that's your mushroom sauce and it tastes great. So I hope you enjoy that and we'll see you again soon for another recipe.